know, sometimes you have a bad day and you want to beat the shit out of someone. And the best place to do that is in a video game. This is Dead or Alive 5 The Last Round. Um, Dead or Alive is a franchise I've played for a very long time because I love fighting games. I love beating people up because it's not something I would ever do in real life. And it's just so satisfying to just kick and punch and just... It's fantastic. I'm sorry, I'm sounding very violent, but it's in a video game. You're supposed to be violent in video games, so it's fine. So I actually just purchased Dead or Alive 5 last round for my PS4, and it's still installing as I'm recording this video, so that's why all of the characters are currently locked, or at least most of them. That's actually completely okay, though, because these two ladies you see here on the screen are my two favorite characters. This is not by any means a new game, but I just got it for myself. I have not played it in a very long time, so it's going to take me a minute to remember how to do all the things. You know, in any real life fight, the first thing you have to do is taunt each other a little bit, say something special, make the boobs jiggle. I'm playing as Kasumi right now, a uh, girl with red hair. Oh, remembering how to do the things, it looks like. The reason I like playing with these girls so much is because they're quick. You just get so many hits in, they flip around you and do all this crazy ninja stuff. And I mean, the sound it makes whenever Kasumi's just rapidly punching someone is fantastic. I don't even know how I did that. And then of course you have the drawback to being a ninja, which is sometimes you both flip over each other and just completely whiff and look like idiots. Here we witness another great thing about video games, things that should definitely kill you, but definitely won't. And here's one of my personal faves, Kasumi's secret ninja bull riding technique. And sometimes you both flip and Ayane murders you. Anytime I say I want to drop kick someone, that's definitely what I'm thinking about. That, that exactly is the move I would like to perform. Oh wait, I forgot to smolder. Another thing I appreciate about this game is there are some moves that you can tell they're like, alright, that hurt. And that's, that's one of them, right there. Lucky for me, I responded with another move I'm not quite sure how I did. Next step was to see if I remembered how to play Ayane. Ayane likes to twirl, and she wants you to know that. No, for real, that's actually one thing I like about her. She spins and punches, and, like, she's always spinning and twirling around, and it's fantastic. And even when she's kicking people off buildings... Oh boy, yeah. I remembered how to play Ayane, alright. No problems! Here's one of my favorite twirly moves. Just really screams, get the fuck out of here. I was still waiting for the game to install, so I figured why not do a girls vs. boys tag team. Feel a storm is coming. Prepare. I mean, it's pretty obvious whoever has the better entrance is gonna win, so... Tag teams are great because I can do this, which is just completely unfair and wonderful. That's her brother, so this is a little awkward. Tried that on Hayabusa though, and he got real tired of my shit. I really wish I hadn't had so many technical difficulties whenever I recorded this, because then you would have gotten to hear the sounds I made when I figured out how to do this move, because I was trying to remember it the whole time I was playing, and then I got it, and oh, it was so good! So, naturally, I did it about 12 more times. I mean, what could possibly relieve more stress than stepping all over someone's face? Of course, kicking the shit out of someone is also a great option. The game finally installed, so I figured I'd play as some of the other gals in this game. I don't play as the guys, because they're really slow. And I, I don't mean, like, brain... They, they, their movements are too slow. I have to have a fast character, which is why you can see I'm getting absolutely wrecked with Hitomi right now, because... She's a slower fighter, she has a lot more power, but she's so slow, I can't, I can't do it. Doing a little bit better with Lei Fang though. You know, a common thing that people poke fun at with these kinds of games is, oh my god, how is she fighting in that skimpy outfit with those heels? I like to call it badass. I mean, if you can do all that in that attire, then I think you're pretty impressive. Alright, so now we'll play as Helena and this little 12 year old who I know nothing about. Helena has what I like to call the super slap, and that's it right there, and it's great. Time to give the 12 year old a go at this. Oh, look at her little strut. So yeah, this girl's new, never played her before. And then I did this, and I'm pretty sure I made the same noise this woman did as she got mounted. I did like this one though. I really like stepping on people. And of course, when you lose, you do get a consolation prize, which is being forced to stare at boobs, which move independently of a woman's body for a really long time.
Like, now I get to skip it. Now I do. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me play some of my favorite characters on this game. I did go through and play the story and completed it in one evening because it's not hard. It's just a bunch of fighting. And I did record all of it. I don't know if that's ever going to see the internet. If that's something you'd want to see, I guess, comment and let me know. Again, this is not a new game, so I don't know uh, if that would even be beneficial or even relatively interesting. I don't know. If you enjoy listening to me talk over random fights, then yeah, I'll totally edit all of that together. But I feel like I'd prefer knowing that at least one person would want to see that before I do it because that actually is a lot of footage to go through. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you somewhat enjoyed this. Please remember to follow me on the things and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. Bye!